back in Sydney, where it seems like the only thing that grows here is the crime rate. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better day weather-wise. With me is Matthew Richardson. What a game we have here today, Dan. There's been quite a build-up for this one. Contending today's match is Greater Western Sydney and the Eagles. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it. Banners ready for the players. We have the toss of the coin. The Giants win the toss. Coming off a string of wins. By contrast, coming off a string of losses. Waiting for the siren now. And here we go. My thoughts before a big game were usually pretty simple. I'd tell myself to stick to your game and you'll win. Cole gets the ball out of the pack. Kennedy, ambitious kick. I can't believe it. It's a goal. West Coast take the first goal. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui got a fist on it. With the ball now. Choose to kick it. No contest for that mark. Slams it on the boot. Nice mark there. Kennedy, a long way out. Kicking from about a 30-degree angle here. Heads up the corridor. Nat Nui winds it up. Bumps the pigskin. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. The Lady Oak. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. He kicks the ball. A good contested mark there. Sending it on its way. Buckley really forced to earn that mark. Slams it on the boot. Wins the handball. Core in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. Core taking a chance at goal. The Giants kick there first. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. There's the bounce. Lob punches it. Buckley with the mighty fist. Lob with the tap. Wood with the ball. Hits the running man. He runs for home. Controlled by De Boer. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Green pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. Greater Western Sydney with only a one goal lead. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Look at that bounce. Nat Nui obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Archie gets the footy. Kennedy dishes it off to the running man. Magnificent goal. Nothing splitting these two teams on the scoreboard at the moment. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce, laser straight. Tapped by Nat Nui. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. With the ball now. Booted by Glob. Buckley just gauging which way that wind is blowing. Kicks it. Nice hands. Tomlinson on a 30 degree angle right here. Going for goal number one. He can't get it home from that distance. Point the difference. Shepard looking for a lead. Plays onto himself. Boots it. McGovern got under it. McGovern really wears his heart on his sleeve. He gets boot to the ball. The lady oak marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. Redden kicks the ball. Archie drops it. The umpire will ball it up. Hit by that Nui. Tap by Caniglio. Duggan on the ball at the moment. Strong mark. Williams is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Archie puts his boot on it. He gets it under pressure. Sending it on its way. That's a mark. 
Davis boots it, he takes a strong mark. Shaw kicks it. Hopper with the mark. Sends it on its way over the top of the pack. Kennedy kicks the ball. Buckley lining up. A lovely drop pass. Good mark by Pat Newey. Sends the Sharon on its way. Short with the mark. Shaw. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Good hand skills there. Buckley takes advantage. He slams that on the boot. Good mark. Sending it on its way. That's a mark. Jams it on the boot. Tomlinson claims it. Kicks. Buckley with the mark. Gets boot to leather. He shouldn't have bothered. They've conceded possession. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. Long is able to grab it on the half volley. Buckley off. Breathing like Tony Soprano. Guided by that Nui. Squeezes out a handball. Cameron with the goal. He sinks his first goal. Way to Western Sydney by seven points. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Davis thumps it forward. Cole gets the ball. Nicely intercepted by Harper. Wood running in, about to kick. Wood sinks it from a long way out. Greater Western Sydney have scored the last two goals. Greater Western Sydney leads by 13. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Davis punches. Vardy sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Kennedy had it, lost it. Picked up the ball. Ainsworth receives the ball. Hopper bumped off the ball. Duggan kicks it out of the congestion. Chip kick along the way. Wins the hard ball. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. The West Coast forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He picks it up. Williams scoops up the ball. Shuey kicks it. Haynes gathers the ball. That was a good tackle. Kennedy gets the ball. He takes the footy. Nice kick, just a little bit too wide and it's bounced off the post. The Eagles trail GWS. GWS have been so precise with their disposal and with their delivery their forwards have been receiving. It's no wonder West Coast was starting to fall behind. He takes a quick ballet break. The umpire will toss it back in. It's tapped down nicely. Shaw hits it. Patton tackles him to the ground. Really quick hands to get the ball out from that tackle. Gets a handball to the running man. He's chopped that one off. What a strong mark. He boots it. If seeing is believing, then that guy could be one of the all-time great illusionists. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Great bounce. I set decisively. Tapped by Kennedy. Haynes picks it up. Let's take a look at the stats, Richo. Both teams are neck and neck for handball disposals. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. Uh, that's a unique spin on things, Richo.
And here's the start of the second term. The winners in life constantly think in terms of I can, I will, and I am. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Cord was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Distance could be the problem. Cord shoots it. Cord just gets it through. He's bagged a couple now. The Giants are liking this. A four-goal lead. Ratman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui with the hit. A favourable bounce. Kennedy boots it. Great mark. Darling winds it up. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. This game almost out of reach for the Eagles. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The bounce, laser straight. Effective hit out there. Lob to Lex. Delivio gets the tap. The spilled ball is collected. He hand passes the ball, slams it on the boot. Great mark. Archie needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Shield with the pickup. Williams picks up the loose ball. Dishes it off to the running player. It's a mark. Archie puts his boot on it. He claims the ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Haynes looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. A spearing kick from Shuey. Patton marks. He kicks the ball. He grabs it. Kicks. Got his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Jams it on the boot now. Nice hands. Haynes can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. He kicks the ball. He marks the ball. Patton slams the ball to his boot. Great hands. Long kicks. A great effort. McGovern with a perfect drop punt. He wins the contest. Kicks. Marked by Nat Nui. Nat Nui sends one up towards the wing. Takes it well. Chip kick along the wing. Takes that one strongly. Kennedy will need to pull something special out here. Not the easiest of angles, this one. He's taking the shot from about 30 degrees. Tapped by Bunteen. Deft touch from Kennedy, and the ball goes over the boundary line. Ruckman vying for the better position. Lob without a touch. The clearance by Nat Nui. Davis with the kick. Patton presents and takes the mark. Patton got a really good footballing brain. He claims the ball. Kennedy boots it. That's a nice strong mark. Puts boot to ball. It's a mark. Ward lines up. He slams that on the boot. Nat Nui takes the mark. Nat Nui sends one up towards the wing. Patton kicks it out of congestion. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Jams it on the boot now. Cord looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Cord pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. A four-goal lead. Greater Western Sydney starting to run away with this game. Here's the bounce. Nat Nui outstretches his opponent to win the right tackle, but gets the handball off. Approaching the goals now. And over the boundary line she goes. Nat Nui coming onto the ground. It'll be tossed in from the boundary. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Lob with a big fist on it. He threaded the needle to get the handball out. Chalk up a goal for the Eagles. He sinks his first goal. Danger signs for West Coast. Lysette needs to gain a more familiar and consistent goal-kicking routine. And when he does that, he will be rewarded with more accurate kicking results. Marks. Williams sends the ball on its way. Coniglio, the better man there. Coniglio has got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. Sending it on its way, he takes the contested mark. He kicks it long. Hopper marks the ball. Kicks it across the ground. Great mark. Cameron feeds it wide. He was never going to get that. Gathers the ball, batted down nicely by Buckley. DeBoer going for number one. Way to Western Sydney with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading West Coast 44 to 25. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, West Coast might get hurt on the rebound, 
but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Shepard handballs it, he boots it. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. He kicks the ball, strong mark there. Puts boot to ball. The mark will be paid. Chips it down towards half forward. Great mark. Kennedy, urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Chalk up a goal for the Eagles. He's giving it all he's got this match. That's number three. Kennedy has some great leadership skills, and leadership is about getting other players involved and being able to take it as well as dishing it out. The only way you're going to get respect from your teammates. The ball is smothered. The ball bounced favorably for Cameron. Handball short. Nice one too. Ward gets the tap. Cole with the ball. Cole taken high and he'll get the free kick. Jams it on the boot. She has it. Bumps the big skin. Kennedy gets the upper hand. 50 meters out. Puts boot to ball. Great mark under pressure. 50 meters out. A chance to add one more to his tally. A magnificent kick right through the middle. That's two now. He's playing well. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Cameron is a class above. I expect he'll continue to dominate Lysette. Mutimer alone for the uncontested mark. Richo, how well are these teams performing? The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with West Coast on 22 and GWS on 15. Not much difference between the way these two teams are kicking. The players have taken to the ground looking refreshed and they're ready so let's get the third term going. You can motivate by fear and you can motivate by reward. But both those methods are only temporary. The only lasting thing is self-motivation. The board going for number one. That's a very well executed goal. Way to Western Sydney with a healthy gap on the scoreboard leading the Eagles 50 to 37. De Boer has the ability, I think, to be a 20 to 30 a goal season player. Bumped by Ward, smothers it. Hopper puts the ball in the hands of fate. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by McGovern. Kicked by Cripps. Dowling presents and takes the mark. He kicks inside 50. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 35 metres out. Going for goal number one. She with a great kick. He sinks his first goal. West Coast trailing, but they can still easily catch up from here. She has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Handballs from the tackle. Clean pick up by that Nui. He's heading for home. Bunteen collects it. A lovely drop pass. The contest, no match for him. Sends the Sharon on its way. Lucky bounce collected. Duggan won't be getting that pass from Chi. Nice interception. Great mark under pressure. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. Collected by Mutimer. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Kennedy setting his sights on the goals. 45 metres out. An ideal position to be kicking from. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. West Coast is down by less than a kick. Kennedy is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Long. Try swinging your purse next time. Rich coming from a guy wearing makeup. Gains possession. Ward goes back to collect the ball. A free kick and several tick. Strong mark by Buckley. Buckley is a great overhead mark, but anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. Poor has a kick. Perfect kick. GWS for in front. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. And there's the bounce. Nat Nui decisively. Kicked in a flurry. Kennedy chucks the ball away. Off the ground. Kennedy throws the ball. Free kick. Jams it on the boot now. Davis has it. That had some power behind it. A chance for both teams to set up as the ball crosses the line. The Ruckman jostle for position. Nat Nui punches it, takes possession. Pass by Ward. The ball is hammered towards goal by Cameron. Cameron with a massive goal. That's number two. 
The Giants in front. Cameron. He's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. The bounce is straight as an arrow. It's disappointing for a team when they have such a dominant ruckman who can direct his hitouts to teammates, yet his teammates butcher the ball moving forward. The Eagles need to start capitalising on his superiority. Hopper, decisively, short guides it. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Patton with the kick. Great mark. The board getting into position for the kick. 50 metres from home. He shouldn't have bothered. Buckley has been violating the golden rule of kindergarten. He's not playing well with others. It's like giving a bazooka to Mr Bean. That was more obvious than finding Wally at a nudist camp. Deliberate should be the call there. McKenzie with the kick. McGovern soars over the pack and takes a ripper. He's got eyes like a pterodactyl with contact lenses. McGovern is a great overhead mark with anything below his knees and he struggles to get down for. If he can add that to his game, he's going to go up another level. He's steady now in front of goal. He gets boot to the ball. Buckley lining up. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. He holds his breath. He kicks it. Gun barrel straight. Buckley kicks his first. This kick puts them further into the lead. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The bounce. Good tap from that Nui. Haynes throws it, clear as day. Gets boot to leather. Hands like dinner plates. Williams can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Great hands. He gets boot to the ball. A nice contested mark. Puts boot to ball. He can't bring that mark down. Williams sends one up towards the wing. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Jams it on the boot. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Solid as a rock, and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Archie is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. Lining it up with the goal now. Cripps kicks it. He gets the upper hand. Kennedy kicks for goal. That's a goal. West Coast are on the ropes right now. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Cameron looked about as coordinated as Disney's goofy. Petricelli claims it. Slams it on the boot. Lysette presents and takes the mark. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. Lysette did well then. The Eagles trailing by less than two goals. Lysette really wears his heart on his sleeve. Umpire bounces the ball. Big leap. Chewie has the ball. He has the ball. Wow, what a hit. Reminiscent of young lethal Lee Matthews. The hind posts should be cowering in fear. He gets a fist to it. Shield slams the ball to his boot. Nat Nui has a kick. That's a great goal. brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punched by Cameron. Nat Nui onto the ball. Cameron aims for his man on the ground. Delivio a massive kick off the boot. Not long left on the clock. He kicks it. Cool. The Giants got seven points. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. The ball bouncing well. Claimed by that Nui. He doesn't know the meaning of the word fear. In fact, it's fair to say he doesn't know the meaning of a lot of words. And it's through for a goal. The first goal for Petrucelli. As Nui would say, it's getting hot in here. What do the stats look like, Richo? In terms of marking, neither team looks to have an advantage over the other. The tackling has been really equal in this match so far. The Eagles, 35. GWS, 24. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo.
It's time for the final quarter. You can't just beat a team. You have to leave a lasting impression in their minds so that they never want to see you again. Delivio dishes it off by hand. Kicks towards the middle of the ground. Cole got under it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Nice contested mark by Petrocello. Hastily kicked. Steady hands there as he holds that one. She puts the ball in the hands of fate. Gets bit to high. Shaw claims it. Shaw obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. He steals the ball on the bounce. Takes possession. Cole gets the interception on the bounce. He hand passes it. He gets boot to the ball. It comes off hands. And the ball goes out of bounds. Umpire throws the ball in. Claimed by that Nui. Patton controls it. He gets tackled as he hands it off. Boots it. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. An important kick for the lead. The long kick doesn't make the goal. Still enough time to turn this around. Shield has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Clean tap by Petrocelli is in his possession. Penetrating hand pass. <laughs> no, it was touched. Good effort from the defending players. The margin not too big to be closed before time's up. Shield may not be the first guy you'd follow into battle, but you're glad that he's on your team, that's for sure. He hand passes it. Shaw handing it back now. He kicks the ball. It's a mark. He lines it up with the goal. Lacroix has a kick. Lacroix has slotted it through for a six-pointer. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Here we go. Nat Nui punches. Bounces favorably for Kennedy. Wood with the football. Long. About as much help as a lighthouse in the desert right now. The huge kick makes it to the goals. The lead is easily in reach for the Giants. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Lob decisively. Buckley controls. Nat Nui has the ball. Manages to get a hand to it. Duggan read the play better than anyone else and takes possession. Nat Nui guides it. Kennedy likes his chances for goal. Handballs to the running man. Shepard there to mop it up. Takes possession. Green on the ball at the moment. Soccer kick. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon. Unfortunately, place ball finds its way into the opposition's grasp. Clears now. McGovern takes the mark. McGovern has the passion for this game, and that shines through every time he plays. Vardy kicks the ball. Jetta claims the ball. Sending it on its way. She just the better man in that contest. He slams that on the boot. Good mark. Opportunity for Darling. 35 metres out. Going for goal number three. Goal to the Eagles. West Coast by seven points. Darling can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Log got the hit out. Buckley did not ease up. Tomlinson guides it. Is in his possession. Vardy just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. He collects the loose ball. Well, for me, a few words come to mind for that kick, but none of them are allowed on air. What are your thoughts, Richard? It's a mongrel kick. Shepard has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. And the ball goes out of play. Nat Nui knocks it down. Lob has the football. He's got the ball out even when being tackled. He slams that on the boot. He taps the ball. Buckley takes possession. Jeddah has the football. Archie with great hands. Gets boot to high. Darling looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Kennedy lays it off to the running man. Kennedy just gauging which way that wind is blowing. 35 metres out. Chalk up a goal for the Eagles. West Coast with a two-goal margin at the moment. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Nat Nui taps. Bounces favourably for Shuey. Going for goal number one. His aim was just off. The Eagles starting to exert some dominance over Greater Western Sydney with a lead of 94 to 81. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but the Giants need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Sheed shoots for goal. That's a goal. All 
is in readiness. Here's the bounce. Deft touch from Nat Nui. Kennedy spills the ball on the tackle. Guided down nicely by Jetta. Is in his possession. Short lays a strong tackle and forces the ball to spill free. Has clearly been shopping at playing as a Russ. And that torp has gone supernova. Bunting marks on the run. Bunting sends one up towards the wing. He gets above the crowd. The Giants haven't taken many marks inside their 50. They need to be more aggressive and create some room or they'll find themselves far too behind on the scoreboard. Mutima being penalised there. Shaw slams the ball to his boot. He drops the mark. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. A goal to GWS. Alarm bells are sounding for Greater Western Sydney. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball bouncing well. Guided down nicely by Blyset. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Tapped by Jetta. He's brought down and the ball is spilled. Gains possession. He's heading for home. Now that's just giving the ball away. Wood making his way onto the field. Claimed by Cameron, he controls the bouncing ball. Whitfield slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. McKenzie gains possession. Soccer kick. He takes control of the loose ball. He's got the footy in his hands. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell him, 50 metres out. Great mark. Takes his time as he lines up the goal. It's okay to have butterflies. Just get them in flying formation. Slots it. Two goals will sink the Giants in the lead. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Lysette outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. Kennedy can't hold on to the tackle. Coniglio with the football. It's impossible to outplay an opponent you can't outthink. Think about that. What a turnaround. The Eagles certainly fought an uphill battle to win. Well, I enjoyed the match, Richo. How about you? The Giants were standing around looking for excuses. Totally outclassed here. They need to get back to the training track and put the hard yards in. Cheers, Richo. Final scores at 100 to 93. That's it for us. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet.